Oh, where's Don? He was just here. Oh, I'll just I'll just go ahead. Our uh, president Don Budai was on. He was going to introduce me, and uh, he, he'll hopefully he'll jump on later. Yeah, thanks to Alan for taking care of the slides here. So I just want to uh, use this time to encourage you guys after you graduate to uh, not let your Kiwanis experience end with Circle K, but uh, no matter where you go, to seek out the local Kiwanis Club and uh, join it and continue your uh, service as you enter the next phase of your life. Uh, thanks, if you, can, if you can switch the slides. Okay. Uh, joining the Kiwanis Club, no matter where you end up, will be easy because wherever you go, there'll be a Kiwanis Club nearby. Uh, just so you know, our mission in Kiwanis International is that it's a global community dedicated to improving the lives of children, one child at a time. And uh, just to give you an idea of how uh, widespread Kiwanis is in North America, there are about 5,000 adult Kiwanis clubs with about 142,000 members. And elsewhere in the world, in 80 different countries, there are about 2,300 clubs with about 57,000 members. So wherever you go, there'll be a Kiwanis club nearby. Next, thanks. Uh, just some background on uh, Kiwanis International history. It was founded in 1915 by a group of Detroit businessmen, and it was originally called the Supreme Lodge Benevolent Order of Brothers. Uh, the next year, they changed it to Kiwanis, and Kiwanis comes from a Native American expression, Nuuk Kiwanis, which translates to we trade. And we trade made sense at the time because Kiwanis started out as a business networking organization and uh, pretty quickly evolved into service orientation. But at the end, it was just a group of businessmen getting together um, for networking. Uh, 1920, the Kiwanis motto was changed to We Build. Uh, and it, re it remained We Build in 2005 when it was changed to the current motto, Serving the Children of the World. Uh, a couple other milestones in 1982, the international headquarters was moved from Detroit to Indianapolis. And in 1987, women were invited to join for the first time. Next, please. Uh, the Kiwanis International structure at the adult level uh, it will be very familiar to uh, you Circle K uh, students. It's uh, pretty much the same, uh, a pyramid starting at the bottom with the club. Uh, my club and, uh, is the Kiwanis Club of Long Beach, founded in 1919. So it's one of the first Kiwanis clubs ever formed in California. And it's currently led by President Don Budai. Uh, club tiers up to division, which is led by a Lieutenant Governor, uh, currently Jason Barnett from uh, Bellflower. And Long Beach is in Division 13. Division tiers up to district. A district is led by a governor, uh, currently Tim Cunning. And Long Beach, uh, I think like Circle K, right, is in the Cal Neva district. And there are 49 uh, districts in the world. And all the districts tier up to the international level, which is led by an international president who's currently Art Riley. Uh, next one, thanks. Uh, the Kiwanis Club of Long Beach has a number of activities, uh, and no matter where you go, the local Kiwanis Club will have a similar structure. Uh, of course, there's a social aspect of the club. Uh, we currently are having lunch meetings twice a month with one monthly evening meeting, and unfortunately during COVID, we have to do all this through Zoom, but we hope to go back to live lunch meetings uh, maybe next week. Uh, I know Don is working on that. Uh, but really, besides the social part, our focus is on service. And there are four uh, basic types of service that we're involved in. The first is in-person 
service projects. And I know a number of the Circle K students have come and helped us out a lot with these in the past. Uh, some of the ones you might be familiar with are our uh, quarterly VA bingo game, which we run over at the uh, Long Beach Veterans Hospital. Um, another, um, oh, one, one project I'm gonna do this afternoon right after I'm done here is the Long Beach Community Table. Uh, we're having our key club uh, high school students involved in that this afternoon where we pack uh, donated food and deliver it around Long Beach to uh, seniors and shut in people that can't get out and shop for themselves. Uh, there's our, our monthly support of the I Dig Long Beach project, a uh, tree planting project uh, each month in a different neighborhood around Long Beach. And we have a popcorn machine that we uh, bring out to these events and uh, and, and serve the volunteers free popcorn. I know Circle K has been regular in helping us out with that. Uh, we also have a monthly uh, dinner service at the Lydia House uh, Women's Domestic Violence Shelter. Uh, we usually, uh, before COVID started, uh, bring food in, serve it, eat with the uh, people that are resident there and uh, really make an evening of it. Uh, and again, Circle K has uh, participated in that quite a bit. During COVID, we've still kept it going, but all we do is uh, uh, pick up the food and drop it off and leave because we can't really go in. But we'll, we'll get back to that before long. Our uh, signature uh, in-person service project is uh, Kids and Cops, where every year we pick out a different uh, elementary or middle school in Long Beach and uh, put together a set of athletic and conversational events involving officers from the Long Beach Police Department. So we had to skip that in 2020 because of COVID again. Uh, hopefully this year, maybe in the fall, we'll be able to get back to that and start doing that again on a uh, annual basis. Uh, when that comes up again, we'll certainly ask for uh, any, any Circle K support that you guys might be able to provide. Uh, the second type of service is uh, financial support of other Long Beach nonprofit organizations. We've been fortunate over the years through uh, bequests from people in their wills and donations from members to put together a you know, pretty good uh, endowment fund, which we invest. And then we take the investment proceeds from that fund and uh, financially support worthy organizations all around Long Beach, which is uh, you know, always a great thing for us to do. Uh, third type of service is our sponsor sponsorship and support of the high school level key clubs. Uh, we currently have seven key clubs in Long Beach. There is a Kiwanis Club member assigned as advisor for each of the key clubs. And we you know, help them out with some financial support for the conventions that they attend. And we help out wherever we can with uh, their service projects. And then they, like, like is gonna happen this afternoon at Long Beach Community Table, they come and help us as well. And of course, the fourth uh, type of service is by far the most important, our sponsorship and support of the Circle K Club there which uh, we enjoy doing. Uh, Terrence uh, Diaz has been your advisor there for quite a while. So that's, uh, that's what we do. Um, next slide, please. But no matter where you go, uh, there'll be a Kiwanis Club nearby, as I said, and uh, there'll be three uh, major benefits, I think, to you, especially going out to a new community that you're not familiar with, just trying to get yourself established there. Uh, benefits of joining the local Kiwanis Club would be, uh, of course, going to a new place, you won't know anybody necessarily. And uh, by joining Kiwanis, you'll quickly make friends with other uh, good service-oriented people. Uh, you'll learn about nonprofits in your new community just by virtue of the service projects that you'll be participating in, and uh, also make friends there, perhaps, by meeting the supporters of those nonprofits. And um, your new community will start feeling like home to you because you'll immediately start giving back to it and you'll feel, you'll feel more a part of uh, 
where, where you're at um, as, instead of just being a resident there. So my final message is uh, do not let your Kiwanis experience end with Circle K, uh, continue it for the rest of your life. And that's all I have. If there are any questions, that'd be fine. Thanks, Alan, for taking care of that. Uh, I think I emailed you about this. Um, if you have oh, anything I'm about membership. Yes, Olivia, thank you. Uh, one big benefit is if you do join our club as a Circle K alumni, we um, offer a two-year free membership to any any uh, new member coming in that used to be in Circle K. So if you do, not all clubs do this, I don't think, but if you do graduate and happen to remain in the Long Beach area and want to join our club, uh, free two years. So thanks for reminding me again, Olivia. And our president, Don Badai, is, is uh, here. So if you'd like to say a few words, Don. Oh, Don, you're muted. Oh, Don, you're muted. Don? Don, your microphone is muted. It's, Thanks. Uh, yeah, we already got it. Okay. Uh, well, welcome and greetings to all of you. This is, I've seen now uh, uh, what you have done and, and it, uh, very impressive. It has always been impressive, our Circle K. I would like to point out, along with some of the things that Rick said, that we started in 1919. And it turns out we are the oldest club, uh, continuous club west of the Mississippi. Um, <laughs> I am enjoying the presidency of the 102nd year. So that, uh, I don't know what that says, but we've been in, in business every year. And uh, we certainly do try and support as much as the community as you can imagine. Uh, I think the other thing is, is that uh, because of pandemic, uh, that has, like yourselves, that has cut down quite a bit on our, our reaching out as we have. However, uh, there is a very good chance we'll know more Monday and, and then we'll see, but it's a very good chance that very soon we will return to, uh, which is our home uh, location to the Grand and the beautiful outside patio that they have and we certainly welcome, as you have in the past, the Circle K as our guests. And so uh, we look forward to that going and starting. I think uh, I, I will point out that one of the beautiful things that uh, Rick mentioned is that we are very, very fortunate that you folks are the caliber and quantity uh, that you are because you have helped make an impression in this community of Long Beach and uh, of the Long Beach Kiwanis Club. And by doing everything you've done to support our project, we really appreciate it. Uh, I think it, it does a tremendous uh, exposure for us and for you. So when Rick talks about thinking about uh, when you graduate, uh, joining and doing service, it can be any, any amount, little or more, and, and we would appreciate it. So I, I don't know I, if he was introduced properly, but Rick is our past president, a past president, and also uh, his title is Service Leadership Program Coordinator. And he's doing a, a, a dynamite job with that. As you can imagine, also, we have others like Sun Sun Lin, who many of you know, that is also tremendously supporting the seven high school key clubs which is very unusual for uh, that many clubs in, in our, our, our district and close districts uh, for seven. And we work very hard. Uh, the priority when we go through our budget and everything else is first to support our Circle K and our key clubs. That's the budget that we start with in a year. And then we go from there and supporting all the different projects. One other project we had that Rick didn't mention uh, is that this last year, we had a, a project called what some of you participated in, a Heart of a Hero. And that is an award, which is given to the number one uh, Long Beach Fire Department person, and also a Long Beach Police Department person that has demonstrated uh, outstanding and remarkable service while off duty. 
so many of them are honored while they're on duty, and that's uh, certainly justifiable, but to forget about, and it, it just is amazing what some, of these, uh, what some of these people have done outside. So this is an annual thing, and we'll be awarding our second year coming up here very shortly. Anyway, that's it for me. Thank you very much, and uh, thank you for the invitation, Ellen. All right, please give a round of applause to Rick and Don for the time being. Thank you. Thank you. All righty. All righty, so now we will move on to our last section 